<laughs> Round one is underway. This one's scheduled to go three rounds. They've been waiting since March the 3rd and that controversial technical draw to decide this one. Wes Sims was going to try and load up on that right hand. It didn't work. Sims did well in the Muay Thai clinch in their first fight, and he's got it here now. But Daniel's got him up against the ropes, trying to keep him close. Because if Sims gets some distance, those knees will be a factor. Daniel Gracie trying to get the takedown here as he bangs his head off the ropes. So uh, Sims does as Gracie puts him on the canvas. This is really a bad scenario so early in the round for Wes Sims because now he's underneath a Gracie who's basically almost got the mount. Yeah, her deep, he's doing a real good job right now keeping, you know, they are pretty close to the ropes. If uh, Gracie doesn't want the action to break, he can definitely circle him back towards the center. The referee might have to step in and do that in a minute. But either way, when this breaks, they're going to start back exactly where they just where they were broken at. You know, same position. And then this is where Gracie needs to be looking to pass this guard, get the mount, get something going, get Wes Sims to panic, and then get one of those big long limbs and lock it up. Wes Sims historically has not been good on his back and against a guy coming from the Gracie family. If he does get mounted, I expect ground and pound into an armbar. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going with the same kind of idea, but with West, what he needs to do is take that long reach and long legs of his and use it to his advantage. Get that guard, lock those legs up, lock your hands up, don't let him move around to the side. You know, push, push him away from you. Now you should have heard you a little sooner there, Jimmy. Most definitely, because we always said in grappling especially, Offense, you take space away. Defensively, you want to create space. West needs to use those long limbs and create space. Gracie's got the mount now. He went from side mount into the mount. If he can somehow break loose of that grip of West Sims, we're going to have a lot of punches. Daniel Gracie, born in Rio de Janeiro, fights and lives now in New York City, and he is here trying to run his record to 4-1-1 one, and, one and avenge I think both fighters almost see that technical draw as a loss back in March. Well, Gracie's definitely looking here to win by strikes. Yeah, the way he's going to belly out, he's going to give up his back. Gracie might have no choice but to go after the rear naked choke. Oh, look at this standing rear naked choke. choke. Standing rear naked choke. Unbelievable. Wes Sims is going to... Oh, no, you can't do that, Wes. You cannot do that. Wes Sims has been choked out. Sims is out. Gracie's Jiu Jitsu 101. If the excitement doesn't tell you afterwards that that uh, grudge match was real, that was the deal. Come sit in my seat for a minute and see people just angling over those ropes and getting down. You know, the one thing about Wes, he stayed in there until he fell asleep. It was just one of those things a big, long body like that going against the grappler. It's just a tough position to survive in when you get there. Hello. And the congratulations continues as you look at Wes Sims, whose record now goes to. 10, 8, and 1. Daniel Gracie is 4, 1, and 1. Let's go in now for the official announcement as you see Gracie standing there with referee Herb Dean and ring announcer Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, how about a big hand for that champion match there between Daniel Gracie, West Sims. It was two minutes, 42 seconds into the first round by Ray. 